Hi, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Betaine HCL challenge. Betaine HCL is a supplement that you could buy over the counter and you could use that to boost your stomach acidity and help you digest your food better. But the question is, do you as an individual need to worry about stomach acidity? Do you have low stomach acid at all? Or could you just kind of move on from this and focus your effort and your money on other strategies that would be better at helping you? So you could use this supplement in the protocol I'm about to outline to determine the likelihood that you even need stomach acidity or you need any sort of support for this. Now of note, I have done videos about increasing stomach acid and betaine HCL on this channel. So if you want more information, you can go ahead and just search this channel. I did a video about how to boost stomach acid naturally if you don't want to be on betaine HCL for the rest of your days. And I also did a video about the safety concerns with betaine HCL and methane SIBO or EMO. So if you're concerned about either of those, go ahead and check out those other videos. In the meantime, we're going to talk about this protocol. And in particular, I think that probably you're already familiar with this protocol, but I'm going to share a visual aid that's going to make it so much more intuitive and straightforward, and it's going to make it so much easier for you to do. I was sharing this with my FODMAP Freedom students. FODMAP Freedom is my co coach group coaching program. The and I just decided it was too good to keep under wraps and I wanted to bring it out here to YouTube as well. So without further ado, let me go ahead and put myself in head bubble mode and I will bring you to a place that I hold very near and dear and that is Microsoft Paint. Behold the glory that is Microsoft Paint. So anyway, with this visual representation that I have beautifully drawn for you, each rectangle on this scale is going to Re visually represent one capsule of HCL per meal. So in the case down below, let's say you try one capsule of betaine HCL per meal for a day or so, and you feel good. You feel good. You either feel no different than you did before, or maybe you feel a little bit better. Either way, the point of the green coloring is that you feel good. You do not feel worse. So the challenge is that you would keep going up and up and up and up in the dose until you hit some sort of ceiling, until you get some indication that you have gone too far, right? So at, at this stage, you've taken one capsule per meal, you're feeling good. Then you take two, you're feeling good. Take a three, you're still feeling good. Let's, let's play along now. Four, still feeling good. Five, still feeling good. But then wait, boom. One day you take six betaine HCL capsules with a meal and oof, oof, acid reflux, heartburn, oh, really unpleasant stuff. So congratulations, you just found your ceiling. You don't want to take any more than this, right? If six capsules gave you heartburn, what do you think would happen if you took seven or eight or 52? It would give you worse heartburn. So this is your ceiling. This is as high as you're ever going to go. Congrats, you found step one. Now, once you get here, the point is not to make you suffer. This is just information gathering, honestly. So once you hit your ceiling, you don't have to suffer through it. Go ahead and go to the cupboard, get like half a Tums or a Tums, get uh, some baking powder and mix it with some water, maybe some alkaline water. Get something that you can mix real quick and just neutralize a little bit of the excess acid because, again, now you've got too much and you're paying the consequences. So no need to make you suffer through heartburn because of this experiment. So now that you have neutralized the stomach acid that you experienced from reaching your ceiling, now the question becomes, did this make you feel any better up until that point? Obviously, again, like once you hit the ceiling, you get heartburn. But say when you were taking four or five capsules, did you notice a difference? Did you notice a difference in your pooping quality or frequency? You know, if you have IBSD, did the diarrhea get better? If you have IBSC, did the constipation get better? Uh, was there less bloating, less indigestion, less postprandial or postmeal fullness? Was there any perceived benefit of taking this supplement up until you got to the ceiling? If the answer is no, then despite whatever the number is for the ceiling, there's a likelihood that this is just not something that's going to profoundly help you. But for a lot of you, I, I don't know the numbers, I haven't crunched the numbers on my patients necessarily, but for a fair amount of you, you will get here and you will think, oh, 
my bloating is pretty significantly reduced or that postprandial fullness is a lot better or maybe your poops have started to change in quality or quantity. So now the question becomes, do you need to stick like in this, in this version of the representation, does this person need to take five capsules per meal indefinitely? Or is there a little bit more wiggle room with the dosing? So if you feel better, if there is some benefit from taking betaine HCL, then the question becomes, how low can you go? So we're going to limbo here. I'm going to switch to a different color green just for contrast's sake. I hope none of you are colorblind. Apologies if you are. Uh, now, so let's say on Monday you took the six capsules, you got heartburn, you took half a Tums, you neutralized it, and then day, the next day, Tuesday, you're going to start back at five. And you feel fine. But again, it's still a shade of green, so just bear with me. So let's say you take five capsules and you feel pretty good. Your bloating is better, postprandial fullness is better, your poops look pretty good, you're a happy camper. Now let's say you go to four, still feel pretty good. You feel like it's working for you at that dose, excellent. Then let's say we go to three and that's where you hit your floor. That's where you're like, ah, I was feeling pretty good at four or five, but honestly, three's not doing it for me. The bloating is worse. I'm feeling really full after I eat again. It's just, it's not happening. I'm not as much of a happy camper as I was. So that is your floor. Now you have determined the window at which betaine HCL is going to be useful for you for the time being. So again, you don't want to go higher than five because six, seven, eight or more is going to cause heartburn. So that's your cap. That's your roof. You also probably don't want to go all the way down to one, two, or three because you're just not going to get as much benefit from it. So your happy place in this case is going to be four or five capsules per meal. Now, how I would do it, A, because I'm kind of a cheapskate, and B, just practical. Uh, if I were this person and I had a tolerable, happy window of four or five capsules, I would probably recommend to this person that they take four capsules most days, most meals, because it seems to get the job done, right? Like, why would you pay money for the extra capsule? But if you have a particularly big meal, or if you have a very high protein meal, or if you go to a buffet, or if it's Thanksgiving dinner, that's where you bust out the fifth capsule. So for example, we went to the Outer Banks for family vacation last, last year, and we found the most glorious thing on planet Earth, it was an all-you-can-eat seafood buffet. Oh my God, it was my happy place. It was the best place ever. And I ate nothing but mussels and crab legs and shrimp. So not only was it an absurd amount of food, but it was very high protein. So I took some digestive enzymes and some HCL. If I had the choice and I had my whole apothecary of supplements, I would absolutely take HCL with that. So just one example. But on a day-to-day -day basis, this particular person could get away with just taking, taking four and feeling fine. So let's say that this person hums along and, and this is where they're at. So they're hovering at four or five capsules most days with most meals and they're feeling pretty good. Usually what will happen after a period of one to two or perhaps three months, assuming that you're working on your root causes, you're working on your whole bodily health, you're not just laser focused on the gut, you're actually considering the totality of your health as a human being, mental, physical, spiritual, nutritional, you name it. If you're really getting your ducks in a row and you're getting healthier and healthier, at some point along the way, you're going to notice that your body gives you a signal and says, hey, hey, five is too much now. Mm -mm, no. And you reach a new ceiling, your body gives you a signal that the current dose is now too much for you. So when that happens, you can kind of do the same thing. You can go, okay, cool. Um, let's, let's revisit four capsules, still feeling good. Three capsules, still feeling good. Can we go a little bit lower? Let's say you get down to two and you still feel pretty good, but then you get down to one and that's where you hit your floor. So then you adjust the dose, right? Originally, this person had been at four or five, but they've gotten healthier. Presumably their stomach is now better equipped to make stomach acid and now their happy zone is two, three, or four capsules per meal. So they will do the same thing. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I would say you take two capsules per meal in this case. 
you know, you just stick with the lower end of the range because it's adequate. It's getting the job done. No need spending more money on supplements that you don't need. And then if you go to the all-you-can-eat seafood buffet or you go for Thanksgiving dinner, that's where you bust out the fourth. And then again, assuming that you're getting your ducks in a row and you're really trying to get healthier and healthier, at some point a few months later, typically the same thing happens where whatever dose you were maintaining before, now your body gives you a signal and says, "Mm -mm, too much, no, no. And you keep working your way back down until you get to a point where you really don't need any betaine HCL supplementation at all. Now, it might not necessarily mean that you take one capsule and you get heartburn. That might not be the indication necessarily. But at the bare minimum, you're going to start finding that you don't feel any benefit from taking betaine HCL or, um, or again, maybe taking a low dose does elicit heartburn at some point. But I usually see this as a good indication that that means that your stomach is actually producing on its own. Now, let me get my head off head bubble mode. Hold on. So I hope the visual aid helped you understand this. So you're going up and up and up and up until you hit a ceiling. Then you're going down, 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 down until you hit a floor. You're hanging out towards the bottom end of whatever range gives you the most symptomatic benefit because no sense paying extra money for extra pills if you don't really need them, if it's not going to change how you feel. And then when your body gives you the cue that that is enough and you can actually lower the dose, you start lowering the dose bit by bit until you finally get off of the betaine HCL. Now, again, I have videos on this channel about how to boost your stomach acid naturally. So that's going to be a really good thing to do in the meantime, if you want to get off of betaine HCL and you don't want to maintain that forever and ever. Um, but, uh, oh, and I should have said this at the beginning of the video. If you have gastritis, I wouldn't recommend doing this right out the gate. I think that you need to get the gastritis largely under control or largely treated before you can graduate to trying to do any sort of betaine HCL or apple cider vinegar supplementation for the sake of stomach acid. Um, one final thing that I want to mention too is that when I say you go up, 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 up until you hit a ceiling, there's got to be some element of practicality to this. I don't think it makes sense if you can keep going up and up and you get to like 20 capsules. No human being in their right mind wants to take 20 capsules of anything every meal indefinitely. That's absurd. So I will say there are people, myself included, who can do this betaine HCL challenge and not feel any difference whatsoever in their overall symptomology, but they can get the dose up pretty high. What I have speculated here on this channel and on the IBS Freedom podcast before is that I think that that means that your stomach mucus lining is really thick and robust and healthy, and you have a very thick protective layer protecting your stomach from stomach acid. So it almost doesn't matter how much extra you take, you have such a good, robust protective layer. So if you're one of those people who's getting up to 12 or 15 capsules and you're freaking out thinking you make no stomach acid whatsoever, don't worry. The key is that you're trying to observe, do you feel better otherwise? Is there a decrease in postprandial fullness, bloating, or an improvement in your bowel movements? If the answer is no, I don't care how high your ceiling is or if you have a ceiling at all, it's still not something that's going to help you. So don't worry if you get up to a high dose. I think that the practical stopping point for most people for the sake of doing this experiment is probably no more than eight or 10 capsules. If you get up to eight or 10 capsules, there's no way that you're going to want to maintain that anyway. But for the sake of scientific um, adventuring and, and figuring things out, if you want to push it up to eight or 10, by all means. But I think a more practical stopping point for a lot of people is going to be like eight. So just keep that in mind. There's no sense going above and beyond that. Again, particularly if you don't actually feel better or get any symptomatic improvement in doing so. I really hope this video helped you out. I know, again, this is something that's widely on the internet. A lot of people talk about it, but also a lot of people get confused about the overall protocol of how to do this. So I hope that this clarified things and ultimately made it easier, more obtainable for you to do the betaine HCL challenge. It can be really, really helpful. So I do encourage you to do this as long as you don't have gastritis. Again, you have to work on that first before you can graduate to the step. But as always, I appreciate you tuning in. If you thought that this video was helpful, if you could share it in any of your forums or groups, I would be deeply appreciative. In the meantime, I will see you in the next video. 
Hey guys, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe, ring the bell, click the like button, and leave a comment down below with the videos that you would like to see me do next. Doing all of those really helps support the channel and support my efforts in making as many videos as possible for you guys. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next video.